All right. Is Calvin back on commentary? We have Inky versus Mike Lau. Um, so, yeah, but Inky is apparently a good Falcon player from BC. I actually just lost to him, so if I had beaten Inky, I would be playing right now. But I didn't. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I haven't actually heard of him before this tournament, but some people in the, like, Washington PR were talking about him, and apparently he's pretty decent, so. And then, uh, Mike Lau, former... He's one of the people in Washington competing for that, like, number 10 spot on our PR. Um, he's actually entered under Bliss, because, uh, his... One of his friends, who's, like, uh, around, like, the exact same skill level, like, pretty... They're very similar. Uh actually couldn't make it, and then Mike Lau just took his spot. Uh, so that's why his tag is Bliss, but he normally goes by Mike Lau, which is his name, or uh, Eleven. He uses the tag Eleven. Um, Mike Lau is a really versatile player. He plays a lot of different characters. He's playing Sheik right now. He plays Sheik versus Falcon, but he also plays Fox. Um, he'll play Marth, too. And a few other characters sometimes. I believe he is a Falcon as well. Uh, he usually switches between the Marth, the Fox, and the Sheik. Uh, but he's had some really good wins. He actually, at HTC Throwdown, he beat Silent Spectre, which is a huge win. Silent Spectre is someone who's been regarded as one of, like, uh, a really good player for a really long time. Uh, one of the best players in NorCal, and Mike Lau beat him uh, in a close... Went to Game 3, but Mike Lau clutched it out. Uh, this is uh, vaguely similar, except, you know, Mike Lau's losing this time to Inky. Oh, nice clean up there. It's uh, keeping it pretty even right now. Um, yeah, Inky really showing some proficiency in this matchup. Mike Lau drops the tech chase. Uh... Ooh, he could have gone for another grab there, and it wouldn't be good. All right, so uh, Mike Lau here, playing under the tag Inky, I believe. Oh, Bliss. Bliss? Bliss. Bliss, okay. Yeah, Inky is this guy from... Inky is the uh, Falcon from BC. Oh, okay, okay, so Inky is the player on the right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Bliss. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I was talking about how Bliss is actually another... Oh, whoops. Oh, there we go. And... Wait, is that, is, is that Bliss on the right? Yeah, it was it was fixed. Uh, that's, that's... Yeah, that's Mike Lau, and he's playing Sheik, not Falcon. Okay. Wait, was it correct? I yes, like it was correct. Like, it was incorrect, and then you switched it and made it correct, and then switched it two more times to make it more incorrect. So, so for, okay, for the viewers, Bliss, <laughs> Bliss is the person on the right right now, and he is playing Sheik. And his tag is not actually Bliss. It's Mike Lau. Bliss is another player in Washington that couldn't make it, and Mike Lau took a spot. Okay. I'm, like, thinking that's where a ton of confusion just came from. Yeah. Okay. So, Bliss is actually a player originally from Bellingham, a person that I... I used to play a lot with, and he put in like just a ton of work, and he now he's in Issaquah, and he plays with Mike Lau and Shanks a lot, and so he couldn't make it out because of work apparently, and then uh, uh, Mike Lau and him are friends, so Mike Lau just came and took his took his spot in bracket. Uh, that actually kind of seems to happen, like a, about once per tournament, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, usually, I, I mean, not, not a common thing, because I think most people who pay for their tournament, like, would show up. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes, you know, stuff, like, you know, life happens, can't, can't make it. Yeah, Ka Kakujin, okay, for the Smash 4 crowd. Uh, yeah, Kakujin couldn't make it, why? He had a family trip, is Ooh. what I'm hearing. He was all confirmed, and then his family was like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna take a family trip. Oh, wow, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> How old is he? I have no idea. Um, I he, do not know. he, yeah, uh, that's, that's disappointing, because I feel like he was the one person who had, like, a shot at zero, you know? Yeah, so, I mean, like, and now... Basically, this is now gonna like at least Smash Match Four is gonna be like the Zero Show. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Which is unfortunate, but I mean, hey, Zero's good. What are you gonna do? Yeah. So Come game on. one went to Inky. Inky is playing really well. Um, I did not expect him to do 
You know, I expected to lose to Enki. I was explaining how Enki was the one that eliminated me. Uh, but, and... He, he kind of rocked me, but I... I did not expect him to do this well against uh, a player like Mike Cloud. Yeah, it's always it's always nice when you get uh, surprised by how well a player does. Yeah, it, it is like, cool. Uh, a more notable one. And I was talking earlier about how Mike Cloud does play multiple characters proficiently at like it's his tournament level. Um, so he opted to switch for Fox here. Uh, I guess he's just more comfortable. I feel like Sheik Falcon is like definitely in Sheik's favor uh, on on this stage. Uh, I mean, it's it's in Sheik's favor no matter what you do. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, there's a lot of great things that Falcon can do, uh, but the Falcon has to play a very specific way. And he has to be really well versed yeah. in that match. Apparently, apparently, at the highest level, like I'm talking like top top like 30, top 40 players. Apparently, Sheik Falcon is supposed to be even. Uh, yeah, actually, actually, I would totally agree with that. Um, or at least it's much closer to even than it is at the uh, lower and mid levels. You know, at low levels it's destruction. Uh, For sure. Mid at mid levels it's tough. You get it to those top levels, uh, and then you got those Falcon players that are, are capable of like doing what needs to be done. Basically. Yeah, like basically they're the 20 GX players. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The, I'd say like players like Wizzy, uh, Gravy. Who else is the Florida Falcon? S2J. No, no, he's not Florida, but there's uh, one Gatsu, other Florida. Gatsu, Gatsu, Gatsu. That's who it is. Those. Those Falcons, I think, are capable of making the Sheik matchup a 50-50. Or at least Wizzy and S2J. Yeah, for sure those guys. Because, um, I don't know, there was a set at Big House where Kirby Kaze uh, almost ate stock to Gatsu. It was actually, uh, it was actually pretty brutal. But, uh, and then, I feel, yeah, so I feel like his him opting to pick the Fox is more about his personal comfort rather than a matchup thing. Uh, I feel like Falcon definitely has a better matchup on the Fox than he does on Sheik. Almost. It depends how good of a Fox player he is, really. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's also the thing. If you're up against a Falcon that knows your matchup, but mm -hmm. you don't know their matchup, yeah. uh, then that can be very, very tough. You need to know the Falcon matchup. For sure. They didn't know that. Well, Michael was taking the lead on this one. It looks like we're probably going to go to a game three. We'll see if maybe Inky, Inky can take a quick stock here. Oh, spoke way too soon. Way too soon. Um, oh, this is pretty close right now. Wow. So to be clear, Ink Inky is clearly playing Falcon. Yes, Inky is okay. definitely Falcon because I, I I played him, and uh, okay. Yeah, and, I was. And that's Inky. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're good. I just wanted to Ooh. make sure. Is this it? Oh. Inky playing so well right now. This last, this last stock. Oh. Oh. Dude. Oh. oh dark rain combo. D Why did he back throw? Why did he back throw? I mean, he's doing great, but that's oh, good. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. Wow. That's, that's me. Rough. Fantastic. Inky, that was the thing, though. I think Inky, like, not a lot of people knew about him uh, coming into this. Like, I I didn't, I didn't, like, 